A lot of our clients, when they first contact us, have never spoken to a lawyer before. They've never had a need to hire a law firm. So they don't have a lot of good information about what to expect from the entire you know, litigation process. And so I think it's really important for clients to understand that there are kind of two uh, key points uh, during the prosecution of a case. Uh, we have our pre-suit as well as litigation. Uh, when someone first contacts our office, they speak to a member of our intake team who uh, gathers the most you know, pertinent information with regard to their claim. Uh, we're worried about you know, what drug they took, when they took it, what injury they suffered, because you know, there are a lot of people that contact our office, but not everyone can be accepted as a potential client based upon the, the various issues in each of the projects that we're working on at a particular time. Uh, once a client has spoken with our intake staff, we have a lawyer look at the intake information, uh, usually the same day, and if it meets our criteria at that point, we send out a contract package that has information about hiring a lawyer, uh, the contracts that need to be signed, as well as the medical authorizations and other f information that we need completed in order to start our investigation of a claim. Um, once we receive those documents back, we gather all of the medical records. That process can take a little bit of time. It just depends on the cooperation of the hospitals and the doctors. Uh, some provide the records within a few weeks. Others, it might take three to four months or longer. Uh, during that process, our lawyers are available to speak with you about the litigation. I can tell you, um, a lot of times cases uh, change dramatically based upon what's in the medical records. So um, we can talk to you generally at the beginning of the case about what to expect and what we hope to see in the records and what, you know, based upon the information that you've provided. Um, but probably the best time to also talk about the case is once we have the medical records in hand so that if there are any issues in there, uh, we can discuss those with you. Uh, once we receive all of your medical records and have had a chance to look at them, we will then send them out to an outside expert for a second review. Or again, we're looking for uh, any issues that might come up in the case, as well as making certain that the case uh, fits squarely within the criteria that we're using for a particular litigation. Um, at that point, once we have gone through that process, we make a decision as to whether we think the case has sufficient merit to be filed in the court system, and at that point, the litigation process begins. The first thing you have to do is you have to decide where to file the case. Um, sometimes there are several options, sometimes there are no options, um, but the law of various states could affect us either wanting to go there and file a case or not wanting to go there and file a case. Um, when it's time to file your case, uh, certain judges already have control of a large number of cases. Um, and depending upon who that judge is and where that judge is, you may want to either go there or you may want to avoid that, um, that possible venue. And so filing your case is an important decision. Um, once the case is filed, uh, these cases are typically handled um, in, in groups. The courts tend to consolidate the cases so that the litigation can be more efficient. Uh, consolidated litigation typically involves taking depositions of the company representatives from the other side, uh, obtaining internal documents from the company, and sometimes that can be hundreds of thousands of documents, sometimes it can be millions of documents. Uh, it takes quite a while to go through all those documents. Um, sometimes there can be as many as a hundred depositions in a case. Sometimes those depositions can be overseas because some of these corporations have major components of what they do, manufacturing facilities, um, corporate executives, overseas. Uh, that takes time. Ultimately what the judge will do is he will uh, generally establish what's called a bellwether trial process. Certain number of cases will be picked. Those cases will undergo individual discovery. Until this point in time, you can be safe as a plaintiff in this kind of case in not having your deposition taken. It's at that point in time in these cases, generally two to three years into the litigation, that things become mature to potentially talk about resolution. In my experience, that's when things start happening. That's when the court starts looking at the defendant and saying, you know everything you need to know about these plaintiffs now. And that's when the court starts looking at the plaintiffs and saying, you've gotten all the discovery you need from the defendant. You know the case. Is there a possibility that you could talk about resolution? So that's the point in time, generally two to three years in, where because of that bellwether trial process, things start happening in terms of resolution.